Hi there guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. I always fail to clean my lens whenever I start. Anyway, um, today we are back with this fella. Introduce yourself for people who don't know Hi you. Hi YouTube, it's me again, Anthony Class. Fails bro, you may have seen me on previous vlogs such as... I brought him with me. Hey, hello. Hello. Today we are taking you back to Bangkok, Thailand, where I was a couple of weeks ago. It was touching you whether Anthony was going to come. I've actually got a bit of a cold, finishing off a bit of illness. Um, but we're glad we're here, huh? Yeah. So mission number one is to go for a walk, stay awake, because we've roughly been awake for... Exactly, I've been awake for 24 hours yeah. now. Um, probably similar to you. And we're going to go get some noodles. <laughs> <laughs> Takeaway. <laughs> Yummy. Yeah, it's all finished. That last bit of um, spices. Sitting right in the back of the throat. Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah, are you enjoying your spicy noodles, Antonio? Oh, yes. Mitchell. The reason why you come to these little places is because she's obviously been going on for however many years doing the same old noodle, and people keep coming back and eating rather than just a pop up restaurant that's only been here a year and a half trying to serve and Thai food. Dish. And it's one dish, and it probably costs you the equivalent of about 25 30 pence. Cereal and a filling, like good meal. Mm. Um, and now we're going to do completely the opposite and the alternative and go to New Bangkok with lots of air conditioned malls and places um, to cool off after the spicy, spicy broth. This um, mall is quite different and quite unique and cool because it's modelled after an airport in terms of every single floor is a different city. Each floor is unique to the city that you go up. So if you go up to Paris, it's going to have French shops and French food and this, that and the other. And you go up to London, it's going to have London shops. So there's a bit of a fun little thing. Concept. Cool idea. Concept. Cool concept. Yeah. Um, what's the difference between concept and idea? So they have to, they have to signal to everyone that comes in. So he gives a little salute. Is he gonna let me film? Is he gonna mind? Come on, salute. Hey. Salute. Hey. So there's Tokyo, London. Paris and Berlin. Is every disco I go in. My heart is pumping a lot. From Paris to Berlin in every disco I get in. My heart is pumping for For some weird reason, it's a class tradition to try out every public toilet we can find. Remember when we were kids though, and we rated the restaurant toilets, the one out of ten, when we sat back down with that? Always. They've got like a proper B-Day system. If you're part of my family, you know what this is, like Leather's toilet. If you know part of my family, you'll know who Leather is. Anyway. Move. B-Day. Dry. How much water do you want? The temperature. Are you trying it, Anthony? Good, Lou. Rating it out of ten. Six, seven. I don't know. I don't know why that lady was in there. Did you get her on the way in? Yeah. Just a random lady. She's obviously a cleaner. Just standing there, giving people directions, directing them to the sink, directing them to the hand towels. She's very happy in chirping, isn't she? Just asking people to pee, basically. Speaking of pee, my camera's work. Do I get ice salted caramel? Or do I get mocha blended? I'll get mocha blended and you can try some. Why don't we get a cookie? I don't know, we're we taking it away. Should we get a baked goods? We're taking it away. We're gonna bake good in the lower floor. That is the stuff. That sounds yummy. Really yummy. Anthony wants some a um, picture with these guys. Leaving Tokyo and heading. Come on, zoom, zoom. Heading to London. If only they knew that telephone boxes were just used for pissing in. If only they knew Anthony, huh? For doing what? For pissing in. 
telephone box. That's all they're useful these days. I've got your bad side. That's better. Basically, long story short, to give some oh my god, to give some context to this um, trip. Um, What's context? Context. Context. I'm here with work on a work trip, and so I brought Anthony along, my brother, like I did on my Singapore trip. Um, but we haven't really made much of a plan. I've done pretty poorly, if I'm honest. Like, we've got a lot planned for tomorrow, so have a good sleep tonight, because we get too nice here, and then have a, like, a good long sleep, and then I've got so much stuff planned for tomorrow in terms of touristy stuff. Go see temples, all the other stuff, you'll see it. Let's be game prepared. Anyway, but we've got the whole afternoon and we're feeling relatively awake, like really with it. So we're trying to find something to do around here, so can fit in Bangkok where we are staying. Um, not to fill time, but you know, anyway. So we're gonna have a beer and look up some Lonely Planet stuff. Lonely Planet is the sh**. Cheers, first beer in Bangkok. The first ever beer in Thailand. This guy's about to get a motorbike taxi with a suitcase sitting on his leg. Oh, car's getting in the way. That's just silly. Look at him go. We've made a plan. What's our plan? We're going to sing, sing to, no. What's it called? Like a lot of the tube stations around here sound the same. We're, we're heading to a tube station and then from there we're going to a snake farm where they breed snakes for venom to inject into horses, to then inject into humans, to then create anti anti venom. The snakes, the sort of her snakes. It's cool though, isn't it? All the motorbikes. We'll get, I'll get one shot of these guys all pulling away and then we'll... No, it's one, one, one. So we know where the snake farm is, but we're gonna go and explore this um, park over here quickly. Um, screwed up, the snake farm is shut. That does venoms and vaccines for human beings and animals when they get bitten by venomous snakes. So we can't do that. So we're looking up what else to do, basically. We've come back to the park we originally came to, which we've now discovered is Lumpini Park. Lumpini Park. The, um, the, the escape from the city. The largest park in Bangkok, apparently. There's something going on in the park. Don't know what yet. Definitely something going on. So this is obviously where people in the afternoon slash evening come to do a bit of exercise, go for a run around the main park. Yeah, so this is a lot bigger than we first in, in, encountered and visualized, thought. Oh, Anthony, do you see what I see? Oh, Caddo. I'll be no, he's just been in the wars a bit. Hello, kiddo. Hey there, buddy. Just going for a little swim in the in the water, eh? Look at this bootleg of an outdoor gym, here, in Thailand. Cross trainers, cycling machines, 
Barbell weights. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, I just came in. I just got trolled by that dude. He obviously owns that gym, and um, we got told off for using Men's it. Only. Which is fair enough, different cultures. Everywhere I go in America or UK or Europe, when they have outdoor gyms like that, they're free for everyone to use. I thought that was similar. But new, no, you have to pay. And not that I didn't want to pay, but anyway. Decided to rent a pedalo after getting kicked out of the gym. Very nice, sir. Huh? As you do. As you do. Come to Thailand, rent a pedalo. Extremely cheap to rent a pedalo here. I think it's lower. Oh, my legs are hurting already. Oh. The oh, whistle means everyone stop, yeah. The whistle means everyone has to stop running. Is it like a. I don't know what that's all about. It's not a class, no. Can't be. Everyone stop running now because of the whistle. The water is a very luminous green colour. Um, and we've already seen um, what I imagine, what, what do they call them? Uh, Lizard things. Called Galapagos. What are they called? What are they called? I said it earlier. Dragon. Dragon something. Komodo dragon. dragon. They look like Komodo dragons. We saw two of them earlier. We've also seen a lot of fish in here. Anthony just reckons he saw an otter. So we're going to try and see some, see some animals while we're in here. This is a man-made lake in Lumpini, Lumpini, I don't know how to say it, park. And how long have we read up on how long it's been here? Uh, Can't remember, but it's where people come to escape the city, supposedly, and a lot of people supposedly quiet. come to run. And if you get us wet, I will kill you. I'm getting quite close to this fountain, Anthony, for my liking. Wet. Gonna... Oh, fuck! Oh dear, oh dear, that was not a good decision. <laughs> Mucho sweat. It's nice. We've now seen our third Komodo dragon type animal. I need to find out what they're called. Look at them though, they're so long. Fourth Komodo dragon. Oh, Got some amphibians here. Turtles. Anthony thinks turtles. I don't know the difference between turtles and tortoises. Turtles can go in water. Tortoises live on land. So I'm assuming because they're near the edge, they probably swim as well. Or they might be terrapins. Look, they go up on the shore as well. Indiana Jones moment right now if we're going to fit under the bridge. Lizard. There's a lizard on it. Oh yeah, tiny little gecko. Hello, Monsieur Gecko. We got under. Of course, we got under. I had to ram it to get under the first bit. I don't know if we're gonna get out. I'm gonna bend it down a bit. Oh no, watch your fingers. Ah! Got it. Ram to your tail, buddy. Okay, we're not heading home yet. We are in fact going to the different railway, because there are two. Currently in a 7-Eleven, we've got some Shinya ramen noodles for 31 baht. It's about 70p, 80p. Got the times two spicy. They are more expensive, about 48 baht. Don't need a bag. Do you like some oral jelly? No, I wouldn't. Or side agra? No, What's side gra? I don't know. It's like Viagra, but side gra. Doodloo daddy shark, doodloo doodloo daddy shark, doodloo doodloo daddy shark. Marmy shark, doodloo doodloo doo. That's our, <laughs> that's our energizing song for when we're tired. Loves the baby shark. I want Grandma Shark, doo 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 doo, Grandma Shark. 
Yeah, me and me and me and Anthony were just discussing how we've um we've powered through. We what, have done well. Thirty three hours. No longer, much much longer. It is now one o'clock. It is now two twenty in the UK, and that is when we well, that is when I checked into the flight yesterday, so, or when you we were to go through security, and we, we both woke up at about seven. Um, so we've been going for a while. To say the least, I haven't had much sleep. Um, this is the last little endeavor. 30, 31 hours. Actually. 31 hours. And um, we haven't. This is the last little endeavor. We're going for some food somewhere nearby on on a tuk tuk slash motorbike taxi, whatever's cheaper. Get some food, maybe go for a massage, play some pool, and then go for the long schlep in these comfy beds. We've each got our own bed, which is also very nice. I just fucked my shoes trying to put it on without using my. Philip can't put his shoes on, everybody. Ah, oh, go. I just changed them. Oh, that's why they want to. All the girls were here. So there's a lot of sexy males in tonight. Ah, that's why, Anthony. It's our taxi ride to the restaurant. Easy peasy. Nervous? Sorry.